In this video, I'm going to go through and demonstrate how to set up expression maps with BPC Symphonic Orchestra. Expression maps are Cubase's equivalent of articulation sets in Logic and sound variations in Studio One. They're a really convenient, simple way of changing articulation. To create an expression map, we go to the expression map setup, which is found in the inspector of Cubase. When the expression map setup window is open, we go to the plus button in the top left hand corner. This is where we create a expression map for the particular patch that we've got selected. In this case, violins one leader patch. At the bottom, we have the remote settings, which in this particular case is going to be the key switching option. In the middle, we have the sound slots option, which is where our different articulations are going to go. For the purposes of this video, I'm only going to set up the first four articulations. So let's add in four slots into the central section. The first articulation in slot one will be legato. followed by the longs, consorts, and flotando. In the next column over, we then set the articulation. So for legato, we click and go to length, legato. For the longs, we select techniques and arco. Consorts. So in some sample libraries, we have articulations which don't exist within Cubase and Flotando is a really good example of this. So when we're adding this articulation label, we would go down to the add custom articulation, which then appears in this bottom right hand corner. Now an articulation is a direction and we'll give this the name Flotando. The remote is going to be the key switch value that we give. Now, if we look in BBC SO on the right hand side, the key switches are mapped from C minus two upwards in a chronological order. So if I select C sharp minus two, it changes to the long. So we'll go the remote value for legato, C minus two. Longs will be C sharp minus two. And so forth. Now on the right hand side, we need to set the output map per articulation, which is where the MIDI is going to be sent to the plugin from. So we go note on C minus two for legato, C sharp minus two, and so forth. So having created the expression map, what we then need to do is load it on the track that the patch is loaded on. So we would go to the inspector again in the left hand side and to the drop down menu under the expression maps and add in the violins one leader expression map that we have just created. Now, once this is done in the MIDI piano roll, we add in a controller lane in the bottom corner, articulations and dynamics, and we can see that all these articulations that we've just created appear. To start with, I'll play back this extract while set to legato. But maybe what we actually want is we want these first and last notes to be something a little bit softer, a little bit nicer on entry and closing. So if we add in the flotando at the very, very beginning, we could then have the legato for the next part. And then for the final note, we could go back to flotando. If you have any further questions, please do get in touch with us at spitfireaudio.com forward slash support. Thanks for watching Spitfire Clips. 
Let us know if it was too long, too short, too fast or too slow in the comments down below. Hit like if we answered your question and subscribe for more clips, tips, tricks and exclusive Spitfire content.